Business, and I'm joined on set by Matthew Warren. And Matthew, we begin in here, uh, here in France, mm -hmm. where leaders got a chance to grill the finance minister. Yes, they did. Pierre Moscovici, uh, we're talking about now. He went to the uh, the summer conference of the Employers Federation, which is called MEDEF. Now, uh, happens every year. He was there to. Uh, talk to business leaders. Really, he wanted to tell them that he is keen to work with uh, them. And, uh, well, let's take a listen to him, Pierre Muscovici, and the man who's sitting next to him there. That's uh, Pierre Gattaz, the head of MEDEF. We must act quickly. We're already preparing our 2014 budget and our social spending reforms. We need to check our progress by the end of this year. We must work together. We can't pretend that France exists in a vacuum. France is open to the world. The whole world has access to our markets and we can access theirs too. This is something other countries in general have understood, but especially China, India, Russia and so on. I despair a little when I see my country isn't taking a chance on these business and economic opportunities. All right, Matthew, moving on in market have been jittery over a possible military action in Syria. How are we seeing things this Friday? Yeah, some of that nervousness we saw early in the week does seem to have eased. The oil price, for example, has fallen off those highs that we saw. The uh, Most of the markets are making gains in Asia, as you can see there. Just the Nikkei in Japan that's down, and uh, that's despite some uh, signs that the recovery in Japan gaining momentum. Inflation was at 0.7% uh, in July. Now, that's seen as a good thing because, remember, Japan's been suffering from deflation for many years. Industrial production also up 1.6% on uh, a year earlier. All right, now, Matthew, here in Europe, Portugal's government has a fresh problems with its austerity program. Yes, uh, fresh problems had several, uh, and uh, this time, again, uh, a plan has been blocked by the Constitutional Court. This plan is to uh, get rid of around 30,000 jobs by the end of next year, saving 4.7% billion euros. The Constitutional Court saying, no, you can't do that because it goes against the country's job guarantee scheme. All right. Well, uh, Portugal isn't the only country tightening its belt. France is also trying to cut spending and ambassadors this time are feeling the pinch. They are. It's, uh, that's uh, because the country is trying to save money on these many expensive properties that they have abroad that used to house uh, ambassadors and uh, the embassies as well. The government now trying to cut back on some of these foreign expenses. Julia Seeger has been taking a look. Sumptuous buildings on sale all around the world. The apartment of the French ambassador to the UN in New York is one of them, conveniently located on one of the most prestigious avenues of the city. Also for sale, these luxurious apartments in Nepal and in Jamaica, places where the French abroad can get together and stay in touch with the homeland. On these pictures posted on the embassy's website, French expatriates are celebrating Bastille Day in Kingston, the Jamaican capital. But while French embassies have already faced drastic austerity measures, the foreign ministry is about to make more significant cuts in staff by closing some consular offices in Malawi, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and Sao Tome and Principe, countries where France has no particular interest. The aim is to save money. Each year, the French diplomatic network costs some 520 million euros, much more than the British representation abroad, with 425 million a year. To that budget must be added the French cultural centers and institutes. 22 of them will also soon be closed. OK, well, let's stay in France and uh, get some of the day's company news now. And L'Oreal could be set to buy back a 29% stake in the company that's held by the Swiss food giant Nestlé. That's according to the French business daily Les Echos. Uh, the comments uh, by the chief executive came after L'Oreal reported its first half profits up 7.7%. Sales of personal computers are likely to be even worse than thought this year. Research firm IDC says worldwide shipments will fall almost 10 percent. That's its second downward revision this year. PC sales are suffering as consumers switch to smartphones and tablet computers. And a $3 billion acquisition by the Chinese petrol giant Sinopec. It's taking a 33% stake in the Egyptian operations of America's Apache. It's the latest deal by Chinese oil firms as they look to meet growing oil demand at home.
All right, and finally, Matthew, in the U.S., same-sex married couples can expect the same tax benefits as other married couples. Yes, that's right. Uh, announcement by the uh, government on Thursday that uh, these benefits that you get as a married couple will extend to same-sex married couples, not only in states where same-sex marriage is allowed, but also anywhere in the country. Now, uh, the government says that that means they can now move freely around knowing that their federal tax status is going to change. Now, this uh, change in the tax rules is one of the uh, outcomes of the uh, the fact that the Supreme Court struck down in June the Defence of Marriage Act. Remember that uh, had previously said that only that marriage was only a union between a man and a woman. So uh, these are the kinds of things that are happening now that uh, that has been uh, got rid of. Matthew Warren with a look at the day's latest business news. Thank you for that. It's time now for Focus.